When the Navy sank the Bismarck, they didn't just leave it at that. They set about the job of rounding up the supply ships attendant on the great battleship, and this is one of them. As usual, the German crew scuttled the ship on being challenged by the Royal Navy. The Nazi crew left their sinking ship. It was found impossible to save her, so she was torpedoed. Nazis came aboard. In the recent case of the U-boat captured by Hudson, it was found that the threat of leaving the crew to drown if they scuttled was enough to keep the submarine afloat. It seems a good policy for total war, when Britain needs every ship she can get. Here is the second ship in the same bag. This was the last of the six supply ships which would have refueled the Bismarck if she had been left at large to raid Allied shipping. Once again, the Nazis scuttled her and the Navy had to finish the job with depth charges. On this question of scuttling, it's the choice of our lives or theirs. The Allies need every available ton of shipping. It's heartrending to have to sink valuable ships by our own hands. If every Nazi crew were warned that scuttling meant certain death, there would be no more scuttling. Mm -hmm. 